Hi guys, it's James, and today I'm bringing you how to train range by safe spotting fire giants. Alright, I'm standing in Edgefield right now, and I'm going to show you really what you need to do it. There is a quest requirement. You need to have completed waterfall quest to get into the waterfall dungeon to get to the safe spot that I'm going to show you today. Alright, and once you've completed the waterfall dungeon, you will have Gloriel's amulet, or Gloriel's amulet, I don't know how to pronounce it. And you're going to need that, and you're also going to need a rope. I'd recommend bringing some emergency food and some range potions and also probably a games necklace to get to the barbarian outpost just to get there quickly. Now there are three options really for fighting them that I'd recommend which is any form of shortbow that you can use. I like to use a magic shortbow because my range is only 50. Um, you could use throwing knives but while they throw a lot quicker, you're going to hit a lot less in time. So I'd probably say that the short bow is better range experience. Or you can use a crossbow of some kind. And this has like the best range strength, you know, the best range accuracy bonus. But I don't really use any crossbow apart from a rune crossbow. And I don't have high enough requirements for a rune at the moment. So I'm just going to be using a magic short bow with iron arrows. Okay guys, I'm at the barbarian outpost. And this is really the simplest way to get to a waterfall dungeon. Use a games necklace to get here. And then you're going to need to run down to here, which is where the raft is in waterfall que quest. Okay, um, it shouldn't take you too long. And um, it's really, it's the only way into the dungeon. Okay, so here we are by the raft. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to board the raft. Okay, so you crash down here. And like in the quest, you're going to need to go south and you're going to need to use the rope on this rock to get across you need to bring, there's reasons, you need to bring the rope just to get across here otherwise you can't get across you also need to use the rope on here to get down and um, if you don't bring Gloriel's amulet um, it won't let you into the dungeon and you'll take a lot of damage okay so once you're in the dungeon, here you are you're going to need to go north and then west and through the doors. There are night spiders here and um, they drain your prey when they attack you but that shouldn't really be much of a problem when not using prey. Then you're going to need to come and hide in this doorway. Okay, so once you're in this doorway as you can see now the fire giant can't get to me. It's a great little safe spot just at the end of the kill go out and get your stuff. Um, yeah, and fire giants are really good for low level rangers. So, for example, my range is 50, which is probably, you probably need probably around 30 just for the Avers Accumulator to kill these, just to make it worth the while. Each fire giant, they're level 86, and they have 1,110 life points. They give a 444 direct combat experience to your range level, if you're using range or strength, attack, defense, if you're using those and they give 114 to your constitution level so they're really good experience after a while so you'll see the problem when I kill this is that other right fire giants will attack you and if you're pure like I am you're gonna have quite a bit, you're gonna have a problem with taking damage so I bring emergency food you don't need to do this if you're a higher level and after a while the giants will stop being aggressive um, another reason giants are good is you can make a profit off of this task well it's not really a task you can make a profit off of training here just down to the fact that they have some quite good drops. They have some good rune weapons like the Scimitar and 2H Sword. They also have Starved Ancient Effigy drops and Medium Clue Scrolls. They've got a decent gold charm rate if you're trying to get charm. I wouldn't recommend picking up the bones really. It's just a bit of a waste of time. And um, I'd recommend always staying potted up just because it, it gets through the training of that bit quicker. Okay. Part of the reason that these are so good is because, like most giants, they have a lot of life points, they're quite accurate and they have quite a high max hit for monsters, but they have a very low defense level, which means that even low level ranges, probably down to level 25-30 range, can hit them quite easily, and it makes them great experience. I like this method, I prefer it from 50-70 to 70 than rock crabs, I find rock crabs boring, and um, creatures of Finkenstein, or whatever it's called. Um, I find them a bit boring and repetitive as well. I like these because you can get drops off them as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this guys, and I'll be back on. Comment, subscribe, like, 
if you do like. And um, drop me any questions, and I hope I can explain it for you. See you guys.